Publicis, a global leader in marketing, communication and digital transformation, has just released full year 2016 results. Maurice Lévy, hello. Bonjour. You are the chairman and CEO of Publicis. What are some of the highlights of these results? In fact, in 2016, we had two very strong objectives. One was to implement uh, the new organization. And we have some key achievements on which I will come back a little bit later in our conversation. The second is that we promised the market that we will increase all our financial indicators. We said we will increase revenue in absolute numbers, we will increase margin in absolute numbers as well as uh, percentage-wise, uh, we will increase uh, EPS or headline EPS and dividends. We achieved that. And uh, we are posting very good results, despite the fact that uh, our uh, organic growth has been relatively weak at 0.7. So delivering such great results is a clear demonstration that we have one of the most robust business models of the industry. I'm very proud of this. This has been a a very heavy work done by all the people of our organization. And uh, I, I want to really pay tribute to all our teams and people because they had to do the reorg and at the same time to deliver. It's a little bit like changing the tires of a car while driving. Not very easy to do. They did it. Congratulations. And the pretty good news is that our uh, free cash flow has uh, increased by 14.9 uh, and we are generating our all-time high cash flow. So I think it's a pretty good achievement while the debt has been reduced and is now at 0.21 uh, debt to equity ratio. So I feel pretty good about the achievement of uh, uh, 2016. I understand though that the fourth quarter was weak, particularly in the US. Could you explain what affected your performance there? Q4 has not been a very good quarter for us as for the industry. And as we have seen in the recent announcement, uh, the general market has suffered, particularly in the US. As far as we are concerned, we are suffering from two elements. On the one hand, we have a strong based comparison. Last year, we had 6.3 up in Q4, while this year we are down by 6.9. So you can imagine the difference. It's huge, and this is due to the account losses of last year and beginning of 2016 which, by the way, will be felt still in the beginning of 2017, and some one-off contracts, which came to an end while the new business, which has been pretty good, has not been able to catch up at the speed of which contracts were ending. So this is something which uh, is a situation uh, very peculiar, which will not last, and we can be pretty confident for the rest of the year. You booked an impairment charge. What is it related to? Okay, impairment is a non-cash accounting charge. So it has zero consequence on operating margin, on uh, EPS or headline EPS, if you prefer, and on cash. When we acquired Sapient, we have created a new unit called Publicis.Sapient, where we have combined Sapient, the new acquisition, with Resofish and Digitas LBI. We have considered that this unit has to be seen as a whole, uh, and this is in agreement with all the rules of IFRS. The total goodwill of this unit represents 4.9 billion. Based on the current market trends and the new uh, business plan for this unit, 
we have considered that it was more reasonable to put the goodwill in line with what we can expect in the future. And therefore, we took an impairment charge of uh, roughly 1.4 billion. Again, I want to be clear regarding this charge. It's a non-cash charge, uh, purely accounting, which has zero effect on dividend payout, on uh, uh, cash management, or on operating margin. It has also one advantage to make uh, that decision at current time, which is to look at the business plan with uh, a certain level of comfort. What makes you confident for 2017 and beyond? As I explained, uh, we have a, a market transformation which is due to the impact on digital. When you look at consumer journey, consumer behavior, uh, the transformation of the businesses of our clients, the way they are going to market, all this has changed dramatically. We have made some very serious acquisition, and more importantly than the acquisition, we have transformed our way of working. We have changed dramatically the way we are approaching the business and the way we are operating. What we have done, in fact, is something which is relatively simple, which is to build these four solution hubs, to put the client at the center, to support this with Publicis One, and uh, to make sure that we are leveraging the power of One. We are no longer operating as a advertising holding company. But as most of our clients, we are moving toward one company, a connecting company. That is what we are trying to do. And when we look at the implementation of what we have done, we see some interesting benefit. First, uh, the people are much more motivated. They feel empowered and they feel that they can work on this multidisciplinary world which required a lot of different competences. The second aspect is that every time that we are going to a client, we see that the client is interested uh, with our new offering, and very often we win. If we look at what happened since the summer, we have won a lot of pitches. We have retained businesses that we could have lost. And we have enriched our offering to the point that we are now working on some consulting and some transformation work for which we had no competence yesterday. So all in all, this new concept is very well suited to the needs of our clients, and they believe it is a winning concept. And finally, Publicis Group recently announced the succession plan. Could you tell us more about the management changes to come? Yes, with great pleasure. And I'm very pleased with the solution which have been decided by the Conseil de Surveillance, based on the recommendation of the chair of the Conseil de Surveillance, Madame Elisabeth Benetter, and the nominating committee. As we announced, we have followed a very thorough process and the nominating committee has worked hand in hand with Elisabeth Ballantaire to look at what would be the best solution for the future. After that thorough process, which has included a lot of contact with all the managers of the group, the nominating committee has decided to recommend that uh, Arthur Sadoun be elected as CEO of the group. I fully support this uh, choice. It is my recommendation and I'm extremely pleased. I'm even more pleased with uh, this nomination as it is accompanied by the nomination of uh, Steve King as a member of the Directoire. So we'll have a very strong Directoire with uh, Jean-Michel Etienne, our CFO, 
uh, and Gabrielle Elbronner, our Secretary General, uh, Steve King, who is in charge of all the media, and uh, Arthur Sadoun, who was until now in charge of publicity communication. The supervisory board and Elisabeth Benanter has also asked me to join the supervisory board and to become its chairman as of June 1st. If the uh, shareholders uh, choose to elect me uh, to join the uh, supervisory board, I will be pleased to do that and to help uh, during the necessary time uh, uh, Arthur to achieve his objective. I'm pretty sure that the new team will take publicists to a new level. I believe that it's a very strong team. I think that combined with the Directoire Plus, where we see uh, all the heads of the other units and some of the key people of our organization, we will have one of the strongest team that we can find in our industry. So I feel extremely happy. Maurice Lévy, Chairman and CEO of Publicis, thank you very much. Thank you.